What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie, where we dive into all things tech, Linux, and helping folks break into the tech industry. And today I want to talk about something a bit different, but super important. Why fewer young men, especially black and Latino men, are choosing to pursue college. And this is a topic that's been making waves recently, and it's got a lot of layers to it. So I'm here to break it down and look at some of the reasons behind the trend and discuss what can be done to change it, especially from a tech perspective. Plus, we'll touch on Danny Jean's program and how initiatives like this are designed to support everyone. So let's jump right into it. All right, so let's set the stage. Over the past decade, we've seen a decline in college enrollment among young Americans, and this drop is mainly driven by fewer young men deciding to pursue degrees. Now, according to a Pew Research study, there are about 1 million fewer young men enrolled in college now compared to 2011, and that's a significant drop. I mean, why is this happening? Well, while doing a little research, I came across an article on a guy named Jordi Velasquez from Brentwood, New York, and he decided to go straight into the workforce because college feels too expensive or uncertain. I started looking into college a little too late and I couldn't decide on what I wanted to do. I didn't know where I would get the money from. and. I just think it'd be better if I started working in the You already felt that becoming a certified HVAC technician made more sense for him right now. But he hasn't ruled out college completely, but says it just doesn't make sense at the moment. History isn't just about like individual choice. It's also about how our educational system seems to be working better for girls than boys. And from kindergarten through high school, girls often outperform boys academically. And this translates to higher college enrollment rates for women. In fact, last year, only 57% of men enrolled in college compared to 65% of women and this gap has been growing since the 90s. So what are some of the consequences if more young men choose not to go to college? There's so many consequences. I don't think that means everybody should get a four-year degree. I don't think college is for everyone. But if you if you look at the data, the data says in terms of income, in terms of health, in terms of happiness, in terms of life satisfaction, your odds are better with a four year degree. Now, the situation is even more alarming when we look at black and Latino men. There are now 50,000 fewer black men enrolled in college compared to pre pandemic levels. For many of these young men, the problem starts long before they even think about college. For instance, stereotypes and bias often label black and Latino boys as non-academic or socially threatening, which can negatively impact their educational experience from an early age. So what's going on here and what can we do about it? First off, it's important to recognize that college isn't the only path to success. In tech, for example, there are a ton of opportunities that don't require a traditional four-year degree. You have certifications, boot camps, and hands-on experience can be just as valuable, if not more so, in many tech careers. But why are fewer young men particularly black and Latino men, seeing college as a viable option. Based on my analysis of the data, part of it is the financial burden. College is expensive, and the prospect of taking on debt without a clear career path can be doubtful. I think that college is becoming a tough sell for a lot of men, not necessarily because college isn't a compelling idea, but rather because there are so many other competing factors that might be equally, if not more so, desirable. Another factor is societal expectations as well as stereotypes. Young Black and Latino men often face stereotypes that they're not academic or seen as socially threatening. And these biases can shape their school experiences and discourage them from pursuing higher education. So what can we do? One approach is creating more targeted support programs like the one led by Danny Jean, Montclair State University. Now I'm actually connected with Danny on LinkedIn and he grew up in Newark and faced numerous challenges, but went on to earn his PhD. And his program, the Male Enrollment and Graduation Alliance, is designed to recruit and retain more men in college. So if you're experiencing any level of instability in your life, you are not alone. 
And wait, just so you guys know, it's not about excluding women, but addressing a specific challenge that men face today. Now, programs like this offer academic, social, and emotional support. Make sure you guys check out the link that I'll have down in the description so you can look at his program. But it makes a huge difference. For example, Danny's initiative brought 300 high schoolers to campus, many for the first time, showing them the possibilities college offers. And these programs also provide mentorship and community support, which can help young men feel more confident and connected. All right, so that's a wrap on this topic. I hope this video sheds some light on why fewer young men, especially black and Latino men, are choosing to pursue college and what we can do to change this trend. Now remember, whether you're thinking about college or another path, there are many ways to succeed, especially in the tech world. And like I said, programs like Danny Jeans show that with the right support, we can help more young men see the value of higher education and achieve their goals. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the Keep It Techy channel for more insight and tips on tech and beyond. Let's keep this conversation going and support each other in our journeys. Now, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.